very complicated situation involving rape charges, involving dementia, involving uh, uh, sex. This is a story of Republican state legislator in Iowa, Henry Rayhans, who married Donna Rayhans back in 2007. Both were already in their 70s. Their prior spouses had passed away. And Mr. Rayhans is now awaiting trial on a felony charge that he raped Donna at a nursing home where she was living. The Iowa attorney general says that Mr. Raycons had sexual intercourse with his wife when she lacked the mental capacity to consent because she had Alzheimer's. She ultimately died four days before her 79th birthday, complications from Alzheimer's. And one week later, Mr. Rayhan, 78 years old, was arrested and he has pleaded not guilty. So what would be necessary in order to convict Mr. Rayhans of of raping his wife? Number one, prosecutors have to convince a jury that a sex act occurred. OK, so that would be number one. If prosecutors can prove that beyond a reasonable doubt, his guilt or innocence is going to depend on whether his wife wanted or meant to consent to sex and whether her dementia prevented her from being able to consent. Lewis, you can see how complicated this is, because on the one hand, family members have made it pretty clear that uh, they were on good terms. There was no particular reason to think that they had had a falling out such that there would not be uh, sexual activity within their marriage. At the same time, if someone has dementia, you could argue that regardless of what their desire was with regard to sexuality before the onset of dementia, they were incapable legally of consenting and thus it was rape. I don't know how you can truly prove this one way or the other, but if medical experts can get in there and say she simply could not have consented medically, then Mr. Rayhans might have a real problem here. Probably, yeah, it could be. When you're suffering from dementia, uh, of course, it is perfectly possible that you are still lucid the majority of the time. Or, you know, if things have gotten worse, you could still have uh, lucid moments. Uh, and there comes a point where that doesn't happen anymore. So I guess it would be up to a medical professional to, to make that determination. And there's a further layer of complexity, which is that even in, in some dementia is such a unique uh, every case of dementia is unique. And it is not uncommon to have a, um, a a heightened sense of sexuality amongst those suffering from dementia, where actually as they get worse, they may appear to be desiring and consenting to sexual activity, but that can actually be a sign of the progression of dementia. I, I really don't know what's going to happen here. The prosecution will likely paint Mr. Rayhans as a kind of uh, uh, out of control sex fiend who just wanted to take advantage of his wife uh, uh, in some way. That's the sense I'm getting of how he's going to be portrayed. I, I really don't know what, how this is going to go. And I have a sense it may hinge most on the testimony of medical professionals. I think so. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I, I can't really paint this guy in any light. I just really have no idea what happened here. Uh, we're not I don't we clearly do not have all the information. The men's rights movement online is just adamantly unquestionably saying this is an innocent man and there is no proof whatsoever that he raped someone. Uh, and at the same time, those who seem to be more conscious of the legal definition of consent do seem to be pointing to the fact that if someone has dementia at a certain stage, they cannot consent. And you could compare it. This uh, excuse the kind of crude analogy. But sometimes you hear that a rape victim who was statutorily raped wanted to have sex and while they may have said, I want to have sex with this man who is 20 years old, even though I'm 15 or whatever the case may be. Uh, legally speaking, they are not at the age of consent and cannot consent. So whatever the colloquial understanding of consent may be, legally there was no consent. And that's what this case may come down to. Yeah, I think so. It's, it's complicated and uh, we'll just we'll see where it goes. Send me your thoughts on this one. Very, very complex case. We'll take a break. We'll be back after this. Facebook.com slash David Pakman Show.